Okay, here's a looking at an alternative symbol for a bridge rectifier. This happens to be in a uh, Tenma 72 630 power supply, 30 amp output, adjustable, uh, 0 to 15 volts, kind of a nominal 12 volt or 13.8 uh, power supply. At 30 amps, this is uh, this thing is beefy. Uh, these secondary windings are uh, are quite large. 12 gauge wires, at least uh, 12 or 10 gauge wires coming off. This is our uh, diode symbol or our bridge rectifier symbol. You can look up a data sheet for this. Uh, this is another uh, old rectifier. But you might have labels on this bridge rectifier that look like this. We'll have a waveform here. We'll have a sine wave here. And then also it'll have a plus on this side and a minus on that side. So bridge rectifier when it comes in uh, four, uh, four diodes in here. You can see, of course, that uh, we have bridge rectifier. It has uh, four terminals. They just drew the diodes in this. The MDA 2501 is another bridge rectifier. comes in a four pack uh, with these connections already. But an alternative way that you uh, just write this is a symbol for that. The arrow just shows you which way uh, current is kind of coming out of it uh, in a way. Right? We also can infer what side is the plus and the minus by how the capacitor is over here. Right, so in the terminology we've been using, this is V-raw, raw output of this uh, power supply. Uh, this capacitor here, see how it's uh, picofarads? This is for uh, RF uh, filtering and such. We're going to just ignore this as an open circuit uh, for, for what's going on at 60 hertz. It's there for other reasons, radio frequency uh, related uh, stuff just take it out assume that it's not there sometimes we say a capacitor is a short circuit but this one is so small and the frequency that we're dealing with is so small that the impedance of this capacitor is very large uh, at 60 Hertz or so all right so open circuit for that just ignore it a nice thing I like about this one is we see a 17.9 dot is uh, difficult to see so 17.9 volts 9 volts and just a little review of what this 17.9 means we've got this we've got a waveform waveform goes up and down okay and this is 17.9 volts remember when we just say this this is we're really talking uh, root mean squared quantity so the peak value here is going to be 17.9 times uh, square root of 2 Square root of 2 is only valid if your waveform is actually a sine wave. If it's a triangle, or if it's a square, or if anything other than a sine, a square root of 2 doesn't work. It's not RMS means square root of 2. It means square root of 2 means it's a sine wave shape. That's super important, uh, but easy to forget, because we use sine waves all the time. I'm just going to compute this, uh, what this is. So 17.9 times uh, square root of 2. All right, we get 25.3 volts. And that's the peak value, uh, peak up here. It goes up to 25.3, goes down to 25.3. All right, remember, that's, uh, that's over here. On this side, we go through a bridge rectifier. What is the peak value? I'll ask this in a question. Peak value of V raw. Well, it's going to be the peak value, this one. So V secondary peak. Remember, this is not peak to peak, it's just peak. Minus 2 VD on. Because in the bridge rectifier, remember we had another, there's another video that said, uh, showed that we have two diodes that are conducting in this current path at any given time. When any diodes are on, it's always two and a pair this way or, uh, or that way. So two VD on. Let's say uh, these are 0.8 volts or 0.85 or so. If you look up the data sheet at 30 amps, uh, 30 amp rating, this is, you'd expect uh, 0.8, 0 0.9 volts uh, forward, forward current.
the uh, forward voltage here. All right, so I'm just going to subtract that. So we got minus uh, two times 0.8. We get 23.7. Now just take a look at this. So we get 23.7 volts here, peak. That's if this is really 17.9. And I think this assumes, you can see that this is, the input power supply is uh, 117 volts AC. Either uh, 50 or 60 hertz, this uh, transformer will be okay with. Uh, but uh, what if you measure like 120 or 125 volts or so? That is going to proportionally make the 17.9 bigger uh, as well. So be careful of that. These sort of power supplies, you need to know the range of voltages here for both the low side and the high side. That tells you the second range of secondary voltages and that tells you other other things. If you look over here, there's my highlighter. So we're going to highlight this uh, this rating here. These capacitors say that they're rated 25 volts. Okay, and we've got 23.7 on here. We don't have a whole lot of headroom left. So you really should calculate am I if am I going to run into trouble if this is 125? You can eyeball this and say mm, this is close enough that I should calculate this. So heads up for that.